we're back. And today I have a special role between Basalt's Ben Woo! and Prison Perry, but with a twist. The winner of this roll today is gonna get some air dried beef. Minimal Snacks is a company that makes excellent air dried beef. I love giving my beef to the cam girl and Minimal Snacks made that easy. They managed to make their beef 23 grams of protein with only four ingredients and less than 200 calories per package. Even a small amount of beef can be a big load. It's important that if you wanna give your beef to other people that it tastes right. Minimal Snacks uses no artificial ingredients so your meat is always protected. Use my code TYLER20 to save 20% off your order, but you have to order quickly before your neighbor ends up giving meat to your lady. Got your beef. <clears throat> Head on over to minimalsnacks.com so you too can get delicious meat. Now we move back to the roll to see these two titans score off to see who's going to get their air drive beef. Ben is moving in first trying to get some lapel control over Anthony, and Anthony looks far more relaxed than Ben. But I use some editing magic to spare everybody from watching too much gi battling as Ben is now circling looking for his own takedown attempt. He's had enough of Anthony stalling so he's going to decide to shoot in for a low single on the bigger guy. Anthony's doing a nice job sprawling out, but Ben is still able to control that shin. Now this takedown typically would be pretty difficult, but Ben taps into his bath salts and he actually lifts up Anthony going out the back door. Anthony starts to fear for his life, so he quickly backs away and attacks the head. He's able to regain his composure as they can restart the standing battle, and I'm just hoping one of them doesn't go into that exposed piping. There are some takedowns that I would like to do, but I will never attempt on a much heavier opponent. But this doesn't apply to Ben. He shows off his judo pink belt as he tries to go for a headlock toss on the much larger opponent. This isn't Anthony's first rodeo, however, and he understands that the way to tire Ben out is to try and take his back. And not to spoil too much, but this position actually ends up working for Ben. I get a lot of comments asking why Ben is always grabbing the head. And from a black belt's perspective, it is not good technique at all. But I will say it is very frustrating to roll against. Not that he's going to submit me, but he's always trying to slow somebody down and his cardio is so good that it works out in his favor. But I really wish that he would hand fight because he tries to stand, but Anthony picks him up, slams to the ground, and then Anthony gets elbowed in the head by Ben. You absolutely must fight the hands if you're going to stand up. Otherwise, they're just going to lift you, especially when they're that much stronger than you and dump you every time. And just for the record, I don't condone doing these accidental elbow strikes, but Anthony took it like a champ and this certainly isn't his first roll with them. It's not like Ben is trying to hurt his opponent, but sometimes things just happen. He's trying to escape this bad position and he's starting to get flustered. Anthony's doing a nice job covering Ben, but Ben looks to stand again and he's learned his lesson. He's trying to fight the hands, but then Anthony shows off what happens when you add more horsepower to the technique. He lifts him up and slams him to the floor to inflict some serious damage. Now that's a lot of damage! Now I gotta say it, but Prison Perry is doing an excellent job detaining this satanic being. He's going under the arms trying to pull against the lapels and this is great for flattening Ben out. But then Ben shows off his reverse buggy choke. Now, is the reverse buggy choke something you have to worry about and should you be learning this move? No, absolutely not. It doesn't do anything other than just hold it on the position and Anthony has a strong enough neck that he won't get tapped by this. Even Ben is able to recognize it's not his strongest technique, so he lets go and he starts working on Anthony's arm. Now, while these two battle in this position, let's do my question of the day. There's a submission-only tournament in September that I'm considering doing. Is this something that you'd like to see on the channel? Let me know in the comments below. I think it'd be fun to do, but at the current moment, there are only purple belts signed up for the highest ranks. So we'll have to see if anybody else signs up. Ben has been working on this arm for a while and it's not helping him out too much, so Prison Perry's gonna throw on something cool. He's looking for a loop choke on Ben, but Ben quickly rolls to his back so he can defend against it. It's good to see that Ben can defend against the submissions from a larger opponent because Ben signed up for four divisions at that same tournament. He signed up for Gia Nogi Blue Belt and Gia Nogi Absolute, and we all saw Ben put on that monster performance from his last tournament video, so I can't wait to see him do it in another one, especially in four different divisions. It confidently looks like Anthony's gonna win that air dried beef, but this is Ben's big moment. He's finally attacked the head just long enough that when Anthony decides he's gonna stand up and go for the throw, Ben is able to spaz out just enough that he can actually get behind Anthony, he takes him down to the mat, and he's starting to work on top side control. It's already pretty scary when Ben is starting to spaz out, but he combines it with his big chungus energy to completely destroy Anthony's grips over him, spin around him, then pull him down to the mat without any hesitation for his kneecaps. Now it's pretty easy for the big guy to stay on top because of all of their weight, but they don't generally have enough time on bottom because they're so used to being on top. So we're going to have to see if Discount Al Snow can escape this bad position because you don't want to be underneath Ben for too long. 
Anthony is starting to post up to his elbow, but this is when Ben is starting to attack the neck at the same time. Anthony's right hand is occupied, so Ben's looping around with his left arm, trying to grab the gi. He's looking for the choke, and it looks like a very, very, very weird version of a bow and arrow, but I'm never going to doubt Ben's creative freedom when it comes to doing jujitsu submissions. You can tell Anthony is definitely respecting this attempt at the same time because he's trying to use his hands to come in to fight that grip that Ben has. Especially because Anthony critiques fake Instagram moves with me, he can't get caught on camera with a very strange variation of a bow and arrow choke. Now after Anthony freed himself, Ben forgets what size he is. He tries to pull Anthony backwards and Anthony doesn't budge at all. In fact, he doesn't have to worry about the choke because Ben is so far off his back that he's just going to start peeling the hooks one foot at a time. It looks like he even tries to go for Ben's inverted toe hold over the palm of the foot, but Ben wants to regain his foot by standing up and then driving back into Anthony. Now Anthony again has to respect the choke because Ben isn't falling down on his back, but Anthony maintains control over the leg and he's trying to drive forward. We get to see another creative technique from Ben as he's pushing against the hair of Anthony while throwing the leg over the neck. I'm not sure if he's trying to hit an inverted kanto choke, but Anthony did let go of the leg so it must have worked out for him so he can maintain top control. Anthony is smart to bring the arm to the other side of his head, but then Ben is attacking the ankle. Despite Anthony being so large, Ben picked that ankle up like it was nothing. He's a shark chasing blood at this moment as he's sensing that Anthony is getting weaker as the round is progressing. And with this new power up, he's finally able to pull Anthony backwards despite the huge weight discrepancy. It is nice to see that Anthony was prepared however because he's basing on his feet and he's only letting Ben get one hook in. He's halfway out of this control, he just has to continue walking on his shoulders and moving out towards the side. Then if he can pinch his legs together, he won't have to worry about Ben coming on top of him and mount. Anthony continues to show off his Jiu Jitsu 101 knowledge by having two hands on one wrist, then he's going to spin into the guard of Ben and showing off why he is a Gracie University blue belt. That was textbook Gracie Jiu Jitsu. Now we've heard that people don't really like Ben's guard from the comments in other videos, so let's see if he did any better here. Anthony is able to pass the leg, and he's already moving into side control, but Ben quickly goes towards the front head so he doesn't have to give up points. But then he decides to go for a bottom Americana, give up side control to Anthony, the much larger opponent, and he's really going for the finish. Anthony clearly is in no trouble here, but we can tell that Ben really must want the air dried beef. The round finally comes to a close and no submission was scored, so they're going to have to use an alternative system to see who wins the beef. We get an intense game of rock, paper, scissors where both men tie the first round, but Ben comes back with paper to crush Anthony for the first round and he's going to finish off the victory with scissors. And the winner of the beef is... Ben! Ben! Ben. Yeah! <laughs> Woo!